Hello, uh, this is Narain Cyclic Timer. As the name suggests, this can be used to periodically turn on and off the submersible pump. So this particular unit is available for both single phase as well as three phase motors. So as you can see, uh, the unit has on and off switch on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, you will be having the bypass switch. So the unit has uh, the seven segment display. For the on time, we have two digit as well as for the off time, we have three digit seven segment display. Uh, when it comes to the connectors, you have uh, one and two connectors is for the supply. Three and four and five and six, I'll be explaining the connections in some time. So as you can see, there are two digits for the on time and three digits for the off time. Uh, so this means the maximum time for which a motor can be on is for 99 minutes. Similarly, the maximum time for which the motor can be off or the motor can wait is 999 minutes that is equivalent to around 16 hours time. So the maximum on time is around 99 minutes that is around one and a half hours and the maximum off time is 999 minutes that is close to 16 hours. So if in case you have any special requirements wherein uh, the on time and off time are exceeding the range which I have told you, then we have uh, another unit uh, which we can suggest you. So I will be turning on the power supply. So power supply, I have given uh, 440 volts auxiliary supply to connectors 1 and 2. These black wires carry the 440 volts uh, supply. Now I will be uh, turning on the unit. So I am turning on the switch. So as soon as I turn on the switch, uh, you can uh, see the numbers on the display. So yeah. So you have 0 and 0, this is the on time and uh, you have uh, 0, 0, 001, this is the off time. So I will be explaining you how to uh, make the connections initially and then we will move on to the uh, settings. So before uh, we go into the settings, uh, so the connections, uh, let me tell you, uh, let us assume you have a DOL starter, I will be showing the connections for the DOL starter now. So you will have to connect 3 and 4 in parallel with the on push button that is across the on push button similar uh, to the way in which you connect our auto start unit. So I will be uh, showing you our DOL starter now. So this is the DOL starter assume we have on as well as off push button. Okay. Uh, yeah. The wires which come from 3 and 4 will be going in parallel to the on push button that is parallel to this wire from 3 to this point and wire from 4 to this point doesn't matter even if the wires interchange so the wires from 3 and 4 should go uh, parallel to the on push button similarly uh, there are uh, the other two connectors 5 and 6 okay so, so 5 and 6 basically has to be connected in series with stop push button so this is the stop push button in our starter so there is this wire, This is there is this blue color wire which is coming as an input to stop push button. So in order to connect 5 and 6 in series with the stop push button, what I will be doing is I will be removing this wire, the blue color wire and the, the removed wire will be going to, this particular wire will be going to connector number 5 of our cyclic timer. So I will be removing this wire and giving it to the connector number 5 of our cyclic timer. Then I will be taking the new wire and connecting it from the connector number 6 of the cyclic timer to this particular point. I will be repeating the connections again. 5 and 6 has to be connected in series with the stop push button. This is the stop push button of our starter. So whatever wire is going as input to the stop push button, I will be removing that wire from the connection and connecting it to connector number 5 of our cyclic timer. Similarly, I will be taking a new wire from the connector number 6 of our cyclic timer and connecting it to the incoming of the stop push button. So the connections are pretty simple. Now moving on to the settings, so I will be switching on the power supply again. So as you can see, uh, yeah. if you want to uh, adjust the on time, so you have two push buttons, one uh, below the on time and the one uh, push button below the off time. So on push button is uh, to set the on time. So let me, if you want to say for example, uh, if your uh, application uh, demands the motor to turn on for around 20 minutes and uh, the waiting time for 1 hour, so that is when you will have to set on time for 20 minutes and uh, the off time for 60 minutes. So in order to set the on time, I will be pressing this particular push button. 
so once i press you can see these numbers increasing one two three four so if i want this to be 20 minutes on time that is the runtime of the motor so i'll be pressing this and i'll, I'll be once the once you press this button the numbers increase if you want to decrease the on time you will immediately press the opposite button so you can see the numbers decreasing 23 22 21 20 so if you want to make the setting i'll wait in this time you just saw the blink there that blink uh, indicates the setting has been saved okay let me tell you so in in order to adjust the time you will first press the uh, button below the on push button but uh, button below the on display uh, to increase the time if you want to decrease the time you will be pressing the other button so whatever time you want to save you will just go to that time and wait for uh, five seconds you just saw the blink now this blink indicates the time has been saved similarly in order to set the off time what you are doing is you are uh, pressing the button which is below the off push button initially to increase the number as i told you for our application if we want this to be around 60 minutes you will be pressing this uh, so pressing this will increase the number if you want to decrease the number you will press the opposite button again so in this way you can make the setting i will be increasing the number till it reaches 60 if i want to save that oh i just went past 60 now so i will be decreasing the value so i came to 60 and i will wait for 2 seconds so now we saw the blink so blink indicates the time has been saved so the settings are pretty simple this is it this setting has to be done just once so in order to check if the settings are made properly or not you will have to turn off the supply so once you turn off and turn it on you can see the set values for the initial 5 seconds so I will turn on so you can see 20 here and 60 here that means you have set the on time for 20 minutes and off time for 60 minutes so what happens in this case is the motor runs for 20 minutes it will wait for 1 hour then after this cycle is complete, it will again uh, turn on the motor for 20 seconds and that is how this repeats. Okay, so now if you want to see what cycle uh, is the cyclic timer currently on. So you can see that with this particular LED. So if this LED, you can see this LED blinking, this light blinking next to 2. This indicates that the motor is currently on. This is in the on cycle. So if this LED blinks after uh, at the off time position that is after the zero if this LED blinks after the zero that indicates uh, the current state is in the off time so since the motor currently is in the on time this two indicates two minutes has been elapsed so you have set the on time to be 20 so out of 22 minutes has been done whereas the off time will always be indicating the total time which has set that is one hour off time has been set so this will be indicating the off time so this keeps on incrementing it is two minutes currently it, it, it keeps on incrementing after uh, three see it just changed to three so likewise it will go up till 20 and once the uh, time is complete it will then only it will switch on to the uh, switch to the off cycle that is when the motor will turn off and this counting again starts for the off time so this is pretty much about the cyclic timer hope uh, this video has been helpful and if you have any queries, you can always reach us on uh, narainelectrics.com or uh, my contact number is 997224374. And uh, yeah, uh, the cyclic timer uh, can be used for all the applications where uh, you are facing a problem for driver. So that means in most of the applications, there is this uh, high pressure water for the initial 15, 20 minutes or say half an hour. And then uh, the, the pressure of the water dips. That is when the the underground water table is uh, you know depleting so that is when you will have to turn off the motor and then again if you wait for one hour or two hours then the ground water table would have been recharged and the motor can again pump the water for the next 20 30 minutes so in all those applications you can make use of the cyclic timer so you can set the respective on time and off time according to your uh, uh, site conditions and then make use of this if at all you have any other special requirements from uh, the uh, 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 the requirement which I told you, you can always contact us and we'll be happy to help you out. I hope this video was uh, helpful. Yeah. Thank you so much.